I already showed you the great Leslie Packard over there and the beautiful Larry Collins. So those are over there in the corner. This is this beautiful George Yader, 1938-39. Again, I don't have my list, so don't be critical about my information if it comes out wrong. Highland Light, early painting, beautiful. This beautiful uh, smoky or foggy morning. Um, R.B. Rogers, again, 1931. R.B. Rogers has a huge painting that was Nappy's favorite in Town Hall. Beautiful, amazing, and Packard. Uh, great, great piece, one of a couple. Uh, it's one of three Hilda Neely's, nice small piece. Um, this is a Milton Wright that a lot of people are looking at. Really beautiful piece. First time we've had a Milton Wright in the auction. Great, unusual, early 1977, Sal Valdeo, Tulips Motif. motif. He priced it 125 back then. One of two uh, Arthur Cohen's. This one was in the gallery for a little bit. 1993, and we've never really actually sold a pair of gulls. Your opportunity to get two Bugar gulls. This is last lot in the auction. 125. It's a little E.B. Warren. This is this great um, the Plaxis Hawthorne Provincetown School nude male study. It's really quite attractive, isn't it? Here is our other Ann Packard classic red dory. And this is this beautiful um, Heinrich Pfeiffer. Great piece, fishing boats and gulls early. All right, jump back up onto the wall. Agnes Weiner, again, just remember, my pictures are good. Just look at the pictures if you need details. This is really for context for size, okay? So, because I know none of you actually look at the size when you're bidding. Agnes Weinrich, beautiful watercolor, one of several John Dowds. I love this one. Boy, the blue paintings are hard to photograph. Luckily, this is a little lighter, uh, so it wasn't quite so hard. One of several Carl Canass that we've actually had in the gallery. This is great. Two of these pieces are actually on envelopes. So this, you'll see, is an open up envelope and there's a postmark and then it says to Carl Canass because while these are studies and they therefore are unsigned, they are addressed to Canass. Um, one of several uh, Ray Nolans, this is a, um, a chalk or a pastel, beautiful piece, one of several John Hares. This one we've had in the galleries and uh, I think one of three. Uh, our only Nicolette Poli, beautiful still life. Then we come down here to the figure eight house. This is the Marston Hodgen that we have. This house was the very first house I stayed in in Provincetown 18 years ago when I came. Um, Jennifer Cabral was uh, renting that and I stayed there via my friend. Um, Jackson Lambert, great piece. It's got that, it must have had a little staining something. So this sort of drips down here, but it's really still quite cool. Uh, Kathy Lee Smith, Catherine Lee Smith, excuse me, Kathy, Catherine. Um, white line woodblock print. I love this Chet Jones. Uh, the piece it's done is this is a piece of wood that's in here, sort of like wood shingle, the house, and it's signed in there, but it's done in this frame over here. And I think you're going to start to lose seeing me, but I'll just point out here, this is the size of the one Cynthia Packard. We have several, of course, of Cynthia, Leslie, and Anne in each auction. So this is a beautiful piece. And then we've got one of Littlefield Sand Paintings, Envious Youth. Is that what we're calling it? I forget. Or no, is it? Yeah, and Envious Youth. Or Boy and Dog. You can sort of see the teeth. I don't know. Can you? Oh yeah, Boy my dog. All right, one of several, no, one of two Oppenheims um, pieces, two still lives. The other one's right next to it. I will get it for the next preview. All right, preview number two coming up. Okay, here we are, preview number two. Moving over here to the other blue wall, we've got the, we have our, our first Adam Peck um, piece that I love. I love his work. This is 1998, perfect for winter coming up. This is the other Oppenheim still life right here. And then we come over here to the uh, Gordon Hansen uh, Marblehead Houses. This is quite the popular piece in the auction. There's that other beautiful Arthur Cohen. Uh, great, great details up here. That was in the gallery. That is, is uh, yeah, going to be a good deal uh, if someone wants to grab hold of that. Uh, Carl Canass. This is the other one that was done on an envelope that is, uh, you can't see it, but I have a picture of it, uh, addressed to Carl Canass. Excuse me. 
This is a Tabitha Beavers. Beautiful, it doesn't have the gold um, gilding in it, but it, it is floating in here. It's got some issues with some boxing on the mat, which you'll want to take care of. This is a great Richard Baker. Love his work, 1998. TJ Walton, TJ Walton, this is unsigned, but it is a TJ and it is coming from a collector who has quite a few pieces in this auction, an art gallerist uh, collector, so uh, it's legit. So don't give me, don't, don't ask me about that. <laughs> this is this great uh, smaller tree. Remember that big tree we had a couple years ago, sold for $12,000? smaller version uh, for all those underbidders who didn't get that one. This is the great um, Irving Morantz that was in the gallery. A lot of people liked it. It is a sort of a, a pastel gouache, all mixed media, under glass, great frame. What else? Albert Ross, we've had that in the gallery, the red shirt. Again, it's a state stamp, not signed. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, probably from the 40s because that's when he was doing um, those uh that sort of stylized figure um garrett hundius um beautiful piece of paper floating in there and then we have i don't know um morfitt mason morfitt don't know the artist but it's actually a really really sweet piece mixed media probably needs to be reframed it's sort of yeah anyway i love these there are three of them um now i forget so this guy william oscar johnson um my name is Dan. I love it. Uh, so he did these. He was a um, he was one of the uh, major editors of Sports Illustrated for decades. He covered like nine Olympics. He was like really really big up in Sports Illustrated. But he was also came to Provincetown. He sort of took old photos or postcards, and then he sort of did these great scenes um, of the old lifeguards and. His name is Dan. All right, beautiful, beautiful Pauline Palmer. Um, so this is not signed on the front, but on the back, it's it's very interesting. It's incised, inside uh, onto the uh, back of the um, artist board. John Dow, Blue Shutters, nice big piece, classic. Joseph Kaplan, also from the gallery. So we're just moving some of this inventory into your hands. Evelyn Ross. Signed, 19, I can't read, 38, I think, so he would have been young. Head, we're just drawing it. Head, well, because guess what? That's what he called it. Great, Ray Nolan. I love this sort of work that he did in the handmade frame there in the 1990s. This is that great Mary Lock Brewer. Beautiful, uh, makes quite a statement. Don't forget to look at these figures down here. One of them is either mending or something with that green thing. This is this great Nancy Wharf. Excuse me, again, it is unsigned, certificate of authenticity, and it has been verified by everyone, including Julia, the daughter. This is that John Dow. Oh my God, I'm not ever taking any dark blue paintings ever again. You can't imagine how many photographs I went through trying to capture this correctly. It's just, it's impossible impossible in terms of photography and light and all that sort of stuff glare anyway it's a beautiful piece though marion roth big whole photographer or photograph um and yeah it's sort of floating in there it's quite nice and that is it for this one a couple more to go all right i think i'm splicing this together with two so is it auction preview number two b i don't know to be or not to be an auction preview eugene sparks Beautiful, large piece, great detail up there. There's a little town hall monument coming over here. Uh, I don't know Anne's work. Twofold, I think might be how you say her name, but it's a beautiful, beautiful watercolor. Also, I don't know how to say her name. I know she just passed, I think. Jane, eight please, eight please. Um, popular, popular. Here are the other two, um, William uh, jo Oscar Johnson pieces, the Sea Fighters. This is Two Faithful Sea Fighters. And then this one is, if Hopper had painted Dune at Turo in the moonlight, he might have seen this ghost of a lifesaver lost long ago. Just love those things. They're some of my favorite. Never had a Stephen Bauer stock before. Beautiful, beautiful, one of his classic sort of images uh, with the umbrella and the figure. Uh, one of, uh, this is the other Georgiator, the town steeple. I tried to track down the steeple, can't, don't know where. This is that great John Dowd, um, the last one I think that I've shown you, the uh, everybody knows where this is down. 
past the Provincetown Museum uh, and Bryant's. Great piece. So, follow me. <laughs>